Hello, my name is Nicola Morris and I will be with you on the 27th of June to do a session on technology for the YouTube generation. The learning outcomes for this session. Evaluate the benefit of text to speech technology. Evaluate the benefit of speech to text technology. Know how to set up text to speech for web research know how to set up speech to text for assignment writing. I'm hoping that our session can be as interactive as possible so please could you listen to this short video before the lesson. I found an article on the internet about the use of text to speech technology and I used text to speech technology to record this article. And I will start this as a podcast now. Who uses text-to-speech, TTS, anyway? First things first, what is TTS? TTS or text-to-speech technology converts text into spoken speech. If you know Siri or those handy voice GPS directions on smartphones, then congratulations. You're already acquainted with TTS. Since 1000 Anno Domini, Humans have strived to create synthetic speech, but it didn't enter the mainstream until the mid-1970. Through the efforts of voice actors, linguists, engineers, and more, natural-sounding synthetized speech is brought to life. In fact, as TTS becomes easier and clearer to understand, many more people have adopted TTS. Which bring us to the subject of this article. Who uses TTS? People with visual and reading impairments were the early adopters of TTS. It makes sense, TTS eases the internet experience for the 1 out of 5 people who have dyslexia, low literacy readers and others with learning disabilities by removing the stress of reading and presenting information in an optimal format. We're progressing toward a more accessible internet of the future. Already, many forward-minded content owners and publishers offer TTS solutions to make the web a place for all. Businesses and buildings are required to provide entryways for wheelchair users, and those with limited mobility, shouldn't the internet be accessible for everyone, too. Yet, as technology evolves, so have the uses, and the users of TTS. You may not need TTS, but you'll certainly want it. TTS can make life easier and make you more efficient. Students Students studying with text-to-speech Recent studies suggest that learners profit most from mixed presentations. So learners retain more information presented in both audio and visual formats, otherwise known as bimodal learning. The teaching style, Universal Design for Learning, UDL, follows in the same vein to help all learners be successful. Teachers of all grade levels who promote UDL use a combination of auditory, visual and kinesthetic techniques through the use of technology and adaptable lesson plans. Another useful way to use TTS in the classroom is for proofreading. Even if you identify as a kinesthetic or a visual learner, science says adding an auditory method may help you retain information. Who would say no to that? Readers on the go. If you're like me, you may wish there were more hours in a day. When I want to catch up on the news, podcasts and audiobooks only take me so far. So, if there's an in-depth profile in the New Yorker or a long-form article from The Guardian that I want to read, TTS recites it for me, freeing me up to drive, exercise or clean at the same time. Or you may just prefer listening to reading. According to leading experts in technology, online content will soon be automatically converted to audio so that more people can enjoy content on the go. Multitaskers The life shortcuts TTS can provide are endless, from reading recipes while you cook to dictating instruction manuals when assembling furniture. The only limit to how much it can help is your own imagination. Mature Readers my grandmother has avoided upgrading from her first mobile, a flip phone circa 2004. Understandably, she wants to avoid straining her eyes from all the small text. TTS can alleviate this issue for her, and others, 
and introduce her to smartphones and the wonderful world of emoji, no TTS necessary. Visually impaired readers. It's not simply seniors who want to avoid straining their eyes on screens. Many people have mild visual impairments or suffer from sensitivity to light. As someone with chronic migraines, I count myself in this category. Thanks to TTS, I can be more productive on days when staring at screens seems like a pain too much to bear. In fact, medical studies advise that exposure to light at night, particularly blue light from screens, has adverse health effects. It not only disrupts our biological clocks, but it may increase cancer, diabetes, heart disease and obesity rates. TTS offers users a safer way to take a text. Foreign language students. Studies show that listening to a different language aids students in learning the new dialect. TTS can help with that. With Read Speaker, foreign language students can get a feel for pronunciation, cadence and more. One feature that's especially helpful in this regard is the ability to have words highlighted as they're read aloud. With this feature, students can feel confident in their pronunciation of new vocabulary. Multilinguals New generations raised in multilingual households may understand their grandparents' language, but they may not feel fluent enough to read, write or speak it. This is common in many communities, where the home language is not studied in school. For second and third generations who want to maintain or strengthen their bonds to their motherlands, Read Speaker can make articles, newspapers, and other literature accessible and understandable through speech. Those with severe speech impairments. A speech generating device, SGD, which is also known as a voice output communication aid, VOCA, can be used for those who have severe speech impairments and who would otherwise not be able to communicate verbally. Grouped under the term Augmentative and Alternative Communication, AAC, SGDs and VOCAS can now be integrated into mobile devices such as smartphones. So, who uses TTS? Many people, for many different reasons. TTS has boundless benefits for its users, and if you're not one of them, you could be. Voice is the future. The world's technology giants are clamoring for vital market share, with Comscore projecting that 50% of all searches will be voice searches by 2020. Speech recognition technology entered the public consciousness rather recently, with the glossy launch events from the tech giants making worldwide headlines. We developed the spoken word long in advance of its written counterpart, and we can speak 150 words per minute, compared with the paltry 40 words the average person can type in 60 seconds. It was only in 1997 that the world's first continuous speech recognizer, a one no longer had to pause between each word, was released in the form of Dragon's naturally speaking software. Capable of understanding 100 words per minute, it is still in use today, albeit in an upgraded form, and is favored by doctors for notation purposes. Machines are now able to understand speech with a close to 100% accuracy rate. Speech to text in education. With near 100% accuracy and two to three times faster than the average student types, why is speech to text not more widely used in education? I'm looking forward to discussing this with you on the 27th to see if we can come up with a way of encouraging students to make better use of the technology that is available to them. Read and write for education. Here is an example of what is available. Some of you may already be familiar with this software. school along with millions of other students and teachers. Google Apps are great, but what about students who need a little extra help? Working with documents and the web can be a challenge for struggling readers and writers, English language learners, and students with learning disabilities like dyslexia. 
Now there's an answer to help every student get the most from Google. Take a look. Read and Write for Google Chrome is this friendly toolbar that installs neatly in your Chrome web browser. So it plays nicely with all these classroom devices, PCs, Macs, and Chromebooks too. It's there whenever it's needed, making it easier for students to work with Google Docs and other documents like PDFs or EPUBs. It also works with web pages. Okay, let's see how easy it is to use. Highlight any passage of text and hear it read out loud. You can pick different voices and adjust reading speed to suit any listener. Here is an example of Read and Write for Google Chrome in action. History Hartbury College was established after World War II as an agricultural education centre with only 50 students. Today, we have more than 3,500 with record numbers of students studying at both the college and the university centre. Speech to text accurately transcribes your students' words as they talk. It's ideal for capturing thoughts on the fly, especially for people who find typing tricky. Word prediction helps reluctant writers, offering word suggestions as you type. There's a talking dictionary, picture dictionary, and fact finder that make research faster, easier, and more fun. And there's a translator for other languages, such as French and Spanish. These colored highlighters are really useful for collecting and summarizing key information. Just pick out key points and gather them together in a new document. Why not try Read and Write for Google Chrome today? It's already being used by millions of students worldwide, and you can install it free at the Chrome Web Store. Where to start? Most mobile devices and desktops already have accessibility features which often include text-to-speech and speech-to-text though many of these features are not currently used to their full. So start with making sure the accessibility features are on. Try any free apps. Watch reviews on YouTube and take advantage of free trials. Thank you for listening to this video. I'm looking forward to seeing you on the 27th.